Inheritance is a key feature of object-oriented paradigm. It's very important to know exactly how it works and what you can do with it. I'm sure that you're pretty familiar with the subject already. So you know all the cases when it's useful. But what about the opposite? When you should avoid the inheritance? Hi, I am Smoke and this is Quick Answer. Obviously, you'll want to use inheritance in all object-oriented languages. C++, C Sharp, Java, Go... Wait, no. Go is a no-go. It doesn't have inheritance. Anyway, some languages support object-oriented paradigm fuller than others. C++, for example, offers multiple inheritance. That's right, every class can have multiple parents. Standard even says that every compiler has to support at least 1024 base classes. Quick reminder, inheritance extends a class with new fields and methods by creating a child from chosen class. This child has a new name and inherits all properties from its parent. Think of it as an extension of a parent class into its child. Now, as programmers, we often have to write new classes and every now and then it's time to make a choice. Should these two classes be related and how? There are some commonly known rules that will help you decide and also some less commonly known rules. I'll cover both, so stay with me. Okay, so you figure that the classes are definitely connected, but how? Are they connected via inheritance or composition? Composition is when one class has a field with a reference to an object of another class. In this case, we will follow the simple is a has a relationship guideline. Say that we have three classes, star, color, and shape. Star is a shape. So it could be an inheritance relationship. But star has a color. So it is a composition. What is that less known, more insightful reason to avoid inheritance? Gang of four or fathers of design patterns call inheritance a white box reuse because all of the implementation details of the parent class are visible to the child while composition is called black box reuse. Each class's implementation is closed, encapsulated from another. Encapsulation, as we know, is another key feature of object-oriented paradigm. And when one class inherits from another, that parent class gives up part of its encapsulation to create a child class. This has good and bad sides. Well, it's easier to write such a child class. However, and this is important, things might get tricky when you'll try to change the representation or implementation of the parent class. Because it is so easy to depend on a parent, most child classes will. Other issue is the permanent nature of such a relation. Inheritance is forever. When you decide on a child class in compile time, you won't be able to change it in runtime. You will have to destroy an object and create another, unlike a composition where you can swap and switch however you like. By leveraging composition, we also achieve two other things. One, we follow another important rule of clean code, single responsibility. If a class inherits from too many parents, most likely it no longer serves a single purpose. Two, our code complexity metric called depth of inheritance tree, or DIT for short, will remain low. Too complex code is a nemesis of every programmer. Staying vigilant will help you and your colleagues get more quality sleep at night. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.